front where it says aims real big. All right, everyone, I'm out here in Erie, Pennsylvania. I'm at the old sandbar. The old sandbar draft and nail house. This place was okay. I had a few drinks here in the past. Wasn't my favorite place, I will say that. But this had been a staple here. This had been here for a long, long, long time. And unfortunately, they had to close this place because the township bought this back in January, I believe it was, of 2023, because they bought this. They bought the old Manor Motel, which is right there, which, so I don't think that's open anymore either. The Bel Air and the old Joe Roots Grill across the street. All these properties here uh, that was making more of like a blight to the area. They wanted to buy all this out to revitalize this entire area because as you can see behind me, we have lots of cars making their way down to Presque Isle State Park. So they wanted to get all this out of here so they can redevelop it and make things more expensive, I'm sure. You know, the bar brought customers in, brought people in. And I, like I said, I stopped here a couple of times. Wasn't my favorite place in the world, but it was okay. But anyway, now it sits here abandoned waiting for its next phase, whether it's going to be demolished or what. And, well, I want to get one last look at it while it's still here. Yepers, here's your look at the old joint. Got everybody going to the beach. I mean, you got tons of people going to the beach. It's a beautiful day out here. Look at how traffic is backed up. People going to Waldemere, going to the park. And unfortunately, nobody coming here to have a beverage. You could sit out here. This was patio seating here. You could sit out on this side or the other side. There's a look. Wow, they really tore it all apart. Wow, they really went to town on it already. It didn't look like that before. Jeez, they really went to town. This place was pet friendly. There were, there were all the taps right there. They had a lot of beers on tap. Now, when I was here, I, I, I was here last summer and I have to say, it was a little bit run down then, I'm not going to lie. And I'm not trying to pick on the place. I'm not trying to pick on the people that owned it. They got almost a million dollars for this place to close it and move out so the township could take it. And, like I said, revitalize the area, which means make it more expensive here. No, yeah, you do get millions of visitors here a year to go to the park obviously and this just became more of an eyesore I guess I, I, I guess in their opinion I, I mean there were always people here I do know that when I was here though our waitress wasn't how should I say it I'm trying to say it in a nice way and see it is posted so I'm not even trying again so I'm just walking around it getting one last look at the joint 30 drafts on top. Oh, they took their sign off of there, too. Sandbar. But, yeah, how should I say? I'm not trying to sound mean, but when we were last here, the uh, bartender was kind of more worried about playing on her phone and flirting with the guys in there instead of... And smoking cigarettes, too. So, like the Dollar Tree cart hanging out here. tried to enjoy it but kind of made it a little difficult yeah so there's the old joe roots grill there's a grasshopper which was an old souvenir store that's gone too they they got rid of them as well even though they were a souvenir shop i stopped in there a few times over the years and here's the old manor motel which yeah is now gone hard to believe Wow. Hard to believe. Now, the Manor Motel, that had been run down for a long time anyway, so that one doesn't really surprise me. But this did. 
this this was a surprise. Lots of rooms in here, lots of places to sit down and eat. Yeah, it was outdoor seating. I remember sitting out here because it was such a nice summer evening and it was just un unbearably loud in here. The music was so loud. There were pool tables in here. If I remember right, there were a couple people playing pool. And it was fine, but it was just so loud. And we sat out here, because there's the door that went to this patio. They had a fence that went around here, seats. It was nice. It had a nice little breeze coming in from uh, the lake. And you could sit in here. That was the bar again. But unfortunately, that is a wrap on this place. Yeah, you could even order drinks right here if you didn't want to go inside. Well, I guess the bartenders would come up here and serve you. Because I remember sitting at a table out here. They had benches that went around. They had tables here in the middle. It wasn't a bad time. Family-friendly game room. Reserve your private party today. People like this joint. Like I said, was it my favorite? No, it wasn't. But it wasn't a bad place. And it had been a staple here for a long, long time. There's their sign right there. Sandbar Draft House and Grill. Pet and family friendly. I don't know, when I was here that evening, people were here. Huh. I don't know that I would have brought the kids around. <laughs> of course, after 9 p.m., I don't really think they're supposed to be at a place like this anyway. But anyway, that was the look at the old sandbar. Rest in peace. I really did like this place, but I mean, there are places I like better, but it is going to be missed for sure. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that look at that. Really hope the owner's doing well and he was able to open up somewhere else up here, you know, take it to the township to buy up all these properties because they want to redevelop the land. Like I said, that's just code to make it more expensive up here, that's all, and make it harder for people as it is. Because Erie, in general, is one of those places that, when all the tourists come here, it's it's a place that's very, how should I say it, affordable for everybody. Like, I stay at the nearby Riviera Motel. Prices there are fantastic. I won't stay anywhere else because that place is so nice. You're right near the beach. You're right near Sheets. There's the Oasis Pub, which that place is my favorite. So, no offense to the sandbar, but Oasis, I really like a lot. But you have everything around you here, and then West 12th Street behind me, you have all the businesses on there, nearby, if you don't want to go very far. And, yeah, it, it's fine, but they want to redevelop it, and it's just going to cost uh, money and make everything go up. So, but, so they close everything, so now it actually looks like blight out here, when it wasn't that bad before. I mean, yeah, the Manor Motel had been going downhill for a long time anyway, but this bar was okay. I don't know. And the thing is, I've seen it up here. I'm up here all the time. In the wintertime, this area is dead. It relies heavily on tourism here. Like, I've been up here in the dead of winter, and this bar is just gone for the winter. There's just not much going on up here. Even Ugly Tuna Tavern up that way... You know, a lot of places are just closed for the winter or they're just very limited on hours. So, I don't know what their goal is here, but I don't know. It's hard to say. I guess only the future will tell and we'll just have to keep an eye on it and see what happens. And I'll bring you updates as we go along. So, but anyway, I'm signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give, give the video a thumbs up. And, well, I'm going to the beach, so I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and stay awesome, everybody. Bye-bye.